Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. If you're new to the channel, I'd love to welcome you. Go down below, hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell. You don't want to miss any future videos just like this one. So if you're like me and you like to customize all of your graphic settings, as well as customizing some settings in a user config, and you find that every time you load up Microsoft Flight Simulator, it resets a lot of those settings for you? Well, then stay tuned. We're going to show you how to fix that right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. All right, everyone. So this is going to be a very quick video about how to keep your graphic settings from changing on you constantly. So here's my recommendation. You go into your graphic settings on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Set everything where you want them to be. Then go ahead and open your user config file. I like to use Notepad++ with it. Open that user config file up and then go ahead and make sure that all your settings are set correctly and that they correspond with what you had set on the simulator itself. Now, if you're gonna go ahead and change your terrain LOD factor or your object LOD factor, go ahead and set those as high as you want or as high as you know that you can run those on your computer. And then what you wanna do is go to the top and save those settings. Well, that's not the trick here. So after you've went ahead and saved those settings in here and everything is set where you want it, say you have LOD of three and maybe LOD on objects of four or whatever you have, you save all those settings in the config file. The next thing that you wanna do is go ahead and you can close out of that configuration file. And right here on the local cache where the config file sits, if you right click on that file and go to properties, go right down on the general tab, right to read only. So you're gonna hit the read only button, tick apply and then hit okay. Now, what that is going to do is going to make this file a read-only file, so it's not going to be changeable. So what that means to you is Microsoft Flight Simulator cannot make any changes to this user config file now that you have made that a read-only file. So even if you come into your graphic settings right here and try to change any one of these settings now, it will not update your user config file. So those settings will not take effect I don't even know if they would still show that they're with the setting they are on. In any case, if you want to go ahead and change any of these settings in the future, you would go back and right click on user config, tick on properties, and then untick the read only box right here. Hit apply, hit OK, and now you can go ahead and make your changes inside Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once they're done, save those changes, then go back to this screen, right click, right click two properties tick on read only hit apply and then hit ok so if you were suffering from the dreaded microsoft flight simulator changing all your settings every time you load it in the simulator here's your fix i hope it helped out some people out there if it did hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't done so already go down below smash that subscribe tick that little bell and as always keep the blue side up we'll see you on the next one thanks for joining us today